Hello everyone, it's Marek Mularczyk from SciTraining.co.uk. Welcome back. This time I'm in Photoshop. I'm actually in Adobe Photoshop CS5 and I want to show you another new feature in Photoshop CS5, another amazing feature called Mini Bridge. If you've ever used the old versions of Photoshop, Photoshop um, CS and before, you may have re you may remember the file browser. When Photoshop CS2 came out, Adobe got rid of the file browser from inside Photoshop and created Adobe Bridge, which was at that time a very slow application. It used to take a long time to load it and was very slow. But it's been much more improved and we had some videos about Bridge as well. So what I want to show you here this time is the new mini Bridge inside Photoshop CS5. You can, there's a couple of ways to access mini Bridge. You can find the mini bridge icon in your application bar. You can also find it as a panel. I've got it here as a mini bridge panel in, on the right hand side on my Photoshop application window. So I'm going to click on it. I'll just actually use this double pointing arrow to expand the panel. And this is mini bridge panel. If you've ever used File Browser or used Bridge, you know that mini, the bridge can be used to quickly access different images, different files. So what I want to do here, what do you want to do here? Browse files, yes, I want to browse files, so I'll just click on it. And it's loading here. I may want to expand it slightly so I can see more content here. It's waiting for Bridge CS5. Bridge CS5 will actually launch and will run in my taskbar. You should see it in a, in a minute or two running. Okay. And I'm inside one of the folders. Okay, I've got the breadcrumbs on the top, like in Bridge. It shows me where I'm inside CS5 Demos folder, which is a subfolder of Adobe Materials, which is a subfolder of Ace folder. Okay, just going to jump to some images. So I'll go to Mario folder, then I'll go to I'll scroll down to Pictures. I'll double click on it. I'm still inside Photoshop, <laughs> and I'll go to all three dot. And now the images should I've got a whole lot of raw files here, the raw files, CR2 files. Okay, it's loads of them in here. Now, the things we can do here. We can change the size of the previous by using this slider. Okay, I'll just leave it as it is so I can see two rows of images. It tells me there are 80 images in here, or 80 items, 80 files, right? Okay. I can also easily open them now inside Photoshop in here. Okay. So let's say I'm going to try to open one of the images, maybe this one here. Okay. Just going to click on it. Uh, still trying to select it. It may take a while because the raw files are quite big. Okay. I can simply click and drag it. You can see the plus sign next to my cursor. Now I'll release the mouse button and it will open in uh, Photoshop in just a few seconds because it's a raw file it opens in camera raw inside Photoshop now we'll be talking about camera raw in a different movie you can see I'm using the latest version of camera 6.1 so in this case I'm just going to click on open image to open it inside Photoshop and it should open in a couple of seconds it's quite a big file the files are about 15 to 20 megabytes each so that's the image here inside Photoshop that's my bridge so it's as simple as that. Uh, what else? Uh, I can go in here to change the preview. So I can see the preview pod, a big preview window, like a panel inside mini bridge here in Photoshop. And I can resize that to make the image bigger or smaller. I don't normally use that, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And it's also the navigation pod that shows you a small, it resembles the folder structure inside the actual Adobe Bridge. So you've got favorites and there's one thing I want to point here. The favorites are being read from Adobe Bridge. These are exactly the same favorites I have in my Adobe Bridge. The Sci Training folder is a favorite in my Adobe Bridge CS5 and in Bridge CS4. Now this is really interesting because I have CS4 and CS5 on this computer running, installed. Bridge, when I installed Creative Suite 5, it, Bridge CS5 took the information automatically from Bridge CS4, so I didn't have to create new favorites. 
Okay, if I go to collections here, I could see some collections if I had any created. I didn't have any here at the moment, so I don't have any collections. Very, very nice. I'm just going to close that down, so I'll get rid of the navigation part. Right. Okay, and that's mini bridge inside Photoshop CS5, a very nice new feature that can be accessed as a panel inside Photoshop CS5. We'll have a look on some more extensions, some more new panels in the other videos. That's for now. Thank you very much. And once again, it's Marek Mularczyk from sitetrain.co.uk. You can have a look on my blog where you can find more videos, more tutorials, tips and tricks. It's photoshoplightroombridge.co.uk. Thank you very much and I'll speak to you soon.